The Holy Tales. I'll tell you children a story about two brothers that will lift up your moods. Once upon a time, there lived two brothers, George and Harry. Their father was the owner of a very large farm. But now he was too old to work on his farm. So, one day, he called his two sons and said, Sons, I am old and sick. I cannot work on this huge land anymore. So, I will divide the farm into half and give each one of you half. I know both of you will work together and take care of one another. Soon, the brothers started working together. At first, they were best friends and shared everything together. Then one day, suddenly, they had a fallout over a huge argument and they stopped speaking to one another. Years went by and both the brothers did not speak a word to one another. One day, a carpenter came to George's house asking for some work. Sir, can you provide some work for me, please? Is there any work that I can do for you? George thought for a while and said, Yes, there's something I can give you to work on. I want you to build a fence on my property near the stream, which will separate my farm from Harry's. Build a high fence so that I do not have to see him anymore. I'm leaving for town now and I want to see the work done once I am back in the evening. That evening, when George came back from the town, he was shocked to see that the carpenter had not followed any of his instructions. Instead of building a high fence, he had built a bridge over the stream. Angry, George walked down the bridge to take a look at it when he saw his brother Harry walking towards him from the other side. Harry was very happy to see that his brother had built a bridge between the two of them. He did not know it was otherwise. Harry said, I cannot believe you built a bridge to welcome me back, even after all the terrible things I've done to you. Harry reached out for George and gave him a tight hug. George was very happy too. He was pleased with the carpenter that he had managed to bridge the gap between him and his brother. Later, when George went to thank the carpenter, he was nowhere to be found. George realized it was God who had sent the carpenter to bring both the brothers together. I am sorry, Tubby. I shouldn't have been so rude. Now I understand my mistake. I am sorry too, Freckles. I should have asked you first before eating. Phew! Thank you, Holy. The Holy Tales Let me tell you the story of a little boy named Carter who thought he was the best among all his friends. Long time ago, there lived a young little boy named Carter. He was a vibrant and playful boy and had many friends in his neighborhood. They all used to gather in the afternoon and play together in the park and in their gardens. Soon, they made Carter the leader of their group. All of Carter's friends were happy and they all had fun together. They were happy with Carter and the choices of games he decided to play every day. One day, Carter thought to himself, I think my group is too small and they are not scared of me. I am too lenient with them. I need to establish my leadership on them more. That afternoon, when he went to play and all his neighborhood friends came together, Carter announced, I am the leader of this group, but I don't see too many people following me. What I need is a throne for every one of you to look up to me. 
So Carter raised his hand and shouted out in a commanding voice. Nine of you, come here. Nine children came forward and gathered around Carter. Now stand on one another's back and that will be my new throne. The nine children were hesitant about Carter's command but did as they were told. Carter climbed on their backs and had a quite high and wonderful view. But Carter was not happy. He wanted his throne to be higher so that he could have a better view of his friends below him. Carter shouted from the top. More of you come and join. I want a higher throne. Carter felt very important. He swelled with pride and feeling too good about himself. All his friends came and joined the others and climbed on each other's backs to make a higher throne for Carter. And the very bottom was Jim. Jim was not very strong or big. He struggled under all the weight of all his other friends and couldn't take the pressure anymore. He tried to stay strong when suddenly his nose tickled and he sneezed. Carter's throne shook and he fell down right into the mud from his lofty throne. Now Carter was all covered in mud and dirt. So when you think too highly of yourself, you often end up having a big fall. Oh no, I do not want to fall down in the mud like Carter. I am sorry, Gumbo. I am sorry, Freckles. It's okay, Tubby. I hope now you all know you should never think of yourself to be better than others. Yes, I do, Holy. I really, really do. All right then, kids. This was a nice storytelling session. The Holy Tales Today I'll be telling you the story of Rebecca. Rebecca? Wow! That's such a beautiful name. I wish my name was Rebecca. <laughs> but your name is cute too, Freckles. That it is. All right. Then let us begin listening to the story of Rebecca, the woman who relied on her own strength instead of trusting the Lord completely. Rebecca was the young wife of Isaac and the mother of Jacob and Esau. She was the daughter of Bethuel. When Isaac was a young boy, his father, Abraham, was looking for a bride for Isaac. So, Abraham sent one of his servants to the city of Nahor to find a suitable bride for Isaac. The servant looked everywhere in the city but did not find one. He was tired and exhausted, so he sat near the well to rest. While he rested, he prayed to God that the next young woman who came to the well and gave him water to drink will be the girl chosen as Isaac's bride. As he prayed, Rebecca came to the well to get some water with a jar on her shoulder. She saw the servant tired and exhausted, so she offered him and his camel some water to drink and some food to eat. Immediately, the servant knew that Rebecca was the girl who God had sent to be Isaac's wife. The servant brought Rebecca to Abraham, and soon Isaac and Rebecca got married. Years went by, but Rebecca and Isaac had no children. Isaac prayed to God day in and day out without losing hope. Soon, God heard his prayers and blessed Rebecca with twins, Jacob and Esau. Jacob and Esau were the first twins mentioned in the Bible. Even before they were born, Rebecca could feel the both of them fighting inside her womb. She prayed to God, asking him the reason for the two brothers fighting all the time. To this, God said, Rebecca, you are going to give birth to two nations. They are both inside you right now, and that's why they are at odds with one another. One shall be stronger than the other. The older will serve the younger. 
Soon, it was time for Rebecca to give birth. Esau was born first, who grew up to become Isaac's favorite son, while Jacob was Rebecca's. In those days, the practice was that the firstborn was always entitled to receive birthright. And since Esau was born first, he would have inherited the birthright. This saddened Rebecca. She loved Jacob and wanted him to have it. It was Jacob who tricked his own brother into selling him his birthright for a bowl of stew. Later, when Isaac grew old, and he was on his deathbed and could not see. Rebecca helped Jacob to deceive Isaac into blessing him instead of Esau. She used goatskins on Jacob's hands to imitate Esau's hairy arms. Years later, a lot of things happened, and Esau was finally able to forgive Jacob. When Rebecca died, she was buried in the family tomb, a cave near Mamor in Canaan, which was also the resting place of Abraham, Sarah, and Isaac. Later, Jacob was also buried in the same tomb. That was an amazing story, Holy. Thank you for telling us all about Rebecca. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Tubby. And now it's time for me to ask a question. And time for you all to earn a brownie point. Woohoo! This is the most exciting part. So tell me, what was the name of the city where Rebecca lived before she got married to Isaac? I know. She lived in a city called Nahor. That's correct. So Freckles won today's brownie points. I hope you did too. Until next time, we'll be back soon. Bye-bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the Lord.